in this short video I'm going to show you how you can create flashcards with space repetition inside of the markdown files so that later you're going to import it to the Neura Cache app and you can review them really quickly um, on, the, on your mobile phone. <laughs> All right, uh, so first, uh, so I'm using Typora editor. That's, uh, you can use any markdown editor uh, you, li you like, uh, like Burr, Obsidian, there's plenty of them. Um, all right, let's go. So let's ask a question. Who was the first of the USA? Uh, so you ask a question, you follow up, that's required, follow up with the flashcard hashtag, and then you provide the answer, and then you end the card with a horizontal line, which in Markdown it's three dashes. Right? So that's that's a flashcard. Now uh, you can create much more complex um, cards, and actually I'm I'm going to show you. Let, let's create one. So. All right. So again, question, flashcard, uh, hashtag. Optionally, you can group various cards into into collections by using other tags. So I can, so I can, if you know, uh, if I add a politics uh, tag for this card, um, I just created a politics group. And if I would like to put them together in the same group, uh, I just need to add the same tag here, right? Now they are in the same collection. And um, Nevercache app, later you will see, it's gonna connect uh, the cards um, from various markdown files and use the tags as a kind of a uh, binding point um, so that you can study cards from various files. Uh, all right, so what was George Washington famous for? And here's the answer. Actually, let's create a, a bullet. Showing you the uh, like what you can do here. So I actually have already the image. So I'm going to copy the image to the same folder. And again, we're going to end with the horizontal line. All right, so we have now two flashcards. And maybe uh, that wasn't obvious, but you know you can add any notes in between the cards. Um, the idea is that you create your notes, and whatever you, whenever you would like to remember something, put in your long-term memory. You create a flashcard in in line, um, you know, inside of the note. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it here. So now let's go to the Nevercache app. So. This is Nevercache app that's running on my Android phone. There's an iOS version as well. So um, I go to sources, I scroll all the way down to Markdown, I go import Markdown file. Uh, now on the left side in the file picker, I'm gonna go to my drive folder as you see and go to Typora and this is where I save that file. Actually, I might not save it. Yeah, it wasn't saved. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna ref refresh. The image is still not here, so I'm just gonna keep refreshing. There it is. All right, so I have a flashcard a MD file that I was just editing and the image. So now I'm gonna tap and hold on the MD file. I'm gonna also select the Washington uh, PNG file and I'm just gonna select. So now Nerakesh is gonna look for the uh, flashcards in the MD files. All right, so now we see we're in the notes tab and we see we have a flashcard tag and a politics tag and they both contain um, both cards, right? So who was the George Washington famous for? You can see the answer with the image. And also who was the first president? George Washington. All right. So um, all the flashcards that you import by default, they have space repetition algorithm um, enabled. So there are four algorithms to choose from. Uh, the default is SM2, uh, Super Memo 2. So um, at this point, I would get a notification um, you know, about the cards that I need to review for a given day. But I'm not going to wait for a notification, so I'm going to go to the Home tab, and here you can manually access the query of cards. 
uh, that needs that need reviewing. So let's access it. So who was that? You can zoom in on the image. This image is really poor quality, <laughs> but um, if you get if you input the high quality, you will get high high quality image here as well. Um, who was the first president? Um, all right. So I studied all my cards, and if you go to the study tab, uh, you know you again have the tags uh, which are in here, and so I can study, let's say politics, and just launch the. Um, the flow, the review flow from here. Yeah, there's uh, there's much more to the Nora Cash app. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video, so I'm gonna make more more of these. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I still think about the Markdown integration as the experimental one, so I'm really happy to hear any feedback, suggestions. Um, just bear in mind that uh, that, that ideally this should work across many Markdown editors, right? So it's really nice. Typora doesn't have a concept of tags, um, but their app does and uh, Obsidian as well. So they are, they, the tags make much more sense in those editors. Um, there's also a video about the Obsidian, how to use it with Obsidian, so you can check out that, but it's kind of at the same content. Um, I almost forgot there's also one thing, one more thing. Um, if you want uh, space repetition only without a flashcard, you can do it by using by, by using spaced hash hashtag. So you, you type in spaced, um, you know, then the contents, and then you end up with the uh, three dashes as well. So whatever is here is going to uh, be brought to you um, using space repetition algorithm. And again, you can combine them using uh, tags, you know, so that the they, they, they stay with other flashcards as well, uh, in the same collection, they, <laughs> they belong to the same collections as the other flashcards, all right? Let me know what you think in the comments and have a great day.